So here's another quick and easy design. And there'll be two extra bonus ones as well. Just don't forget to use your own photographs. These ones are from Unsplash and they probably won't work for you. Welcome to designing graphics. Today I'll be showing how to create an elegant yet super simple save the date card. You don't need to add a lot of information on these, so they can be made quite easily on Canva. Let's begin with a standard card size of 5 by 7 inches. I've downloaded this image from unsplash.com. I like that there is empty space in the top one third of this picture, making it perfect for today's design. So start by resizing it to fill the entire page. This top empty space is where all the text will be placed. Now, save the date cards generally need very basic information. The names of the couple, the date of the wedding, obviously, and the general location or area. To add text, just press T on your keyboard. Let's start with we are getting married. You can write whatever you prefer, tying the knot, getting hitched, about to get the same last names. Well, you get the idea. I'm using Alta for this text, changing the position, size, and letter spacing here. Add a slight curve to this text from the effects tab. A 7 should be good. Next will be save the date in a fancy typeface. I'm using blast theme. You can modify this if you prefer any other calligraphy font. Make this the biggest size as it needs to be attention grabbing. Next is the actual information, the date, names of the couple and the location. Anything else you need to add can go under this. A little bit of tweaking. The last thing I'll add is formal invitation to follow. As save the date cards have such less information, people generally follow up with an actual wedding invitation. So you can add this line to give a heads up. I'll add this at the bottom. I haven't changed the color of the text yet, so let's do that. And it's done. Now, as promised, let's make a couple more cards, reusing the elements we've just made. But before I move forward, if you find this video useful, please give it a like or drop a comment. If you want to watch more of similar design tutorials, do subscribe to the channel. And a big thanks for watching so far. Let's continue. I'll first use a photo that doesn't have much space on the top. So after duplicating the page, I'll swap out the photo. Adjust its size and position. Same for the text. Modifying the text size and color. Now if anything becomes too small to read, make sure to increase its size. Keep the text readable and its color at a good contrast with the background. I'm using a gray that's almost black. This one's done too. Let's try a last one. What if your photograph doesn't have any white space or plain background, or you simply want it to be a close-up? I'll use this picture to demonstrate it, and this time I'll zoom in on our happy couple. Move the text to the bottom and change it to white. Right now, yes, it's getting a bit lost and it's not quite readable. So let's change that. Add this arch shape behind the text. Change its color to black and reduce the opacity. And it's done! See how easy it is to make different versions of the same design with some tiny tweaks? Let's take a final look at our designs. 
That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Let me know in the comments which one of the three is your favorite. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more of graphic design with Canva. Until next time, take care.